。ソラポンさんソラポンさん。ハロー、ダジャンカラッハロー、can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you.、Uh, where are you from?、Um, I'm from Karat, from Thailand. Oh, I see.、Oh. In, in Kyoto, Japan, it's very hot. Okay, I see. Oh, right now you are sitting in Japan. Yeah, Kyoto. Okay, okay, I see. Yeah. Here also in Thailand,、uh, not so cool. Have a couple of days.、Oh, the, wow. There was like some raining also, but today it still looks very hot. Oh, I see. But Kyoto, so far, 37 or 38 degrees. Well, that's quite hot. Quite hot. Oh, very hot. Very, and very humid because of the typhoon. Oh, I see. Oh, there's typhoon also, you mean, in Japan yes, right yes. now? Okay. Six, six uh, left uh, for Korean Peninsula, but uh, uh, seven, seven is approaching to Tokyo area. Okay, I see. So it moves from Korea to Japan now. Yeah. I think last, the... last, few, last, last few weeks ago also, like, uh, was a.、Uh, Couple of typhoon in、uh, China also. But yes. But fortunately,、yes. not, not much affect to Thailand. Yeah. But the problem is very, very humid.、Uh, I can understand. It's、uh, yeah. very humid. Yes. Yes. So, Rapo san, can you hear me? あの今日は時間はあの、えー、ジャスト1時間じゃあ,、まあ先生次第なんですがあの、まあ、1時間でも1時間でもああ、ね、あしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあしあ,あどうもご無沙汰しております。はい、先生どうもご案内いただきましてありがとうございます。はい。はい、もういろんな方に、もしらあの知ってる人にいろいろとずいぶん送りましてねいろいろ返信。あいえいえ結構ですよ。結構。いただいて、はい、ありがとうございます。はい、本当にね、はい、これぞ本当の国際交流です。はい、はい、そうですね。本当にいやいや新しいあの新しいとかまあそういうことをいろいろ考えてはいたんですけども、はい。そのフリーであるということとかねそれから。一つの大学だけじゃなくて、他の大学の先生も恥ずかしくて聞けないというところがいろいろあると思うんですよ。ですから、そういう教えるときに、こちらが申請をしても、一緒にやると自分のレベルが分かるので、やりたくないという人が非常に多いんですね、会場は。僕はそういうふうに認識してるんですよ。ですから、そういう点では、こういうところだったら出ても出なくてもいいわけですけども、積極的に学びたいという意欲がある人は出ると思うんです。だから、かなりそういう人は、あの、返信をくれるわけですよ。ありがとうございました。はいね、はい。まあ、そういう意味からいくと、タイ全体の大学、タイだけあれば、アジア、フィリピンとか、インドネシアとか、そういうところも送りましたけども、彼らにとっては非常に大きな、こう、ボトムアップというかね、アジアの大学のボトムアップにかなり貢献するんじゃないかというのを、まあ、今回の先生のこれで、随分と勉強させてもらいました。はい、いえいえ、はい。いえいえ、はい。いえいえ、あの、いえ、あの、ソロパン、You can understand what プロサイト told. タイ、テ、え、ィーチ、リサーチャーズ、ああ、always hesitating to start a new area. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Most of the、Because, guys professor,、uh, don't like to、yeah. do anything at the, at the beginning. <laughs> well, just like that. It's necessary.、Right? <laughs> and also, they should be more active to get more new knowledge and also yeah, and yeah. to get more understanding level. Right? Which、yeah. must be I mean, great up. <laughs> That's right. 
for me, uh, well, uh, the this area, fine yes. bubble te technologies, mm -hmm. were very very new to me. Yes, I think Bandida so. Yeah, yes, yes. Is uh, nuclear engineering, fusion engineering. Mm -hmm. hi, hi. So nothing to do with the with the fine bubble technologies. Mm. But the necessity. Ma Yes. Uh, to improve uh, Thai yes. farmers' quality uh -huh. of life. Yes. I found that this technology is mandatory, necessary. Uh, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Therefore, mm. I started okay. learning from zero. It's a very good motivation. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I really appreciate it. Super, sir. Hi, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Do you know me? <laughs> ah, yes. Oh. Eh, eh, anyway, it's it. a very good, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good event. Hello, sorry, a very good okay. program. Not only, not only to Dracha Mongkong, but also all oh, Thai University and also including Asian University. We just spread out information to my friends. They oh, just spread you. out more. So anyway, it's so very much right at a great right, event. I think they can learn so many things from you and also from Nacho Monko and from Professor Yoshikawa. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very okay. much anyway, OK? I think it's Thank always you. time to start, so right? Hi. Yes, yes. 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 Consortium ka nanka o tsukuta do? Ah, na. O tai abri ga ne? Leadership o to te ne? Na, aru hodo ne? Neito sensei to ga ne? Aru wa ano, Chenmai no denchi ra to isho ni na te ne? Ah, so. De tsukuta ne? Not only, you know, tai abri, but Vietnam or Indonesia. Ah, so this ne? Hai, hai, hai. Hai. It's a very good idea, na? I think so. Yes, yes. We totally agree with you. Yes. And, uh, for ASEAN countries, I think there are a lot of common problems. Ah, yes, social yes, yes, problems. Yes, yes. And anyway, some, we should get together and consider and also yes, yes. And study and some more. problems uh, we mm. can resolve by using yeah, uh, yes. these advanced technologies. I see, I see. It's or necessary, most, I think. Yes. Most to mm. tackle, try. I see, I see, I see. These new technologies. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then uh, we could share. I said, the results, good results. Uh, I think it's almost a time to start, right? Your presentation. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, still, huh? still, 54. Still, Sorry. okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering yes. if I just had to disturb your answer. Yes. But anyway, yes. this is a very good opportunity for us, right? Not only yes. to Thai University, but also Asian yes, University yes. also, I yes. think, yes. Mm. Uh, I have go back to my office and also the, we can just uh, keep it open. So okay. anyway, I can join and also I can yes, listen yes. to your presentation. Yes. Well, thank you very I, much. <laughs> I am greatly surprised to see that the Thai people are very, very punctual. <laughs> yes. Because so, far the, so far the Sabai Sabai time. Sabai. Always Sabai Sabai time. <laughs> But, but uh, after uh, event, yeah, right? COVID nineteen, <laughs> time is punctually announced, right? <laughs> yes, that's they amazing. Must follow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, let me go back to my office and also yeah, I can just listen to your presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, いや。先生は今あのこちらの単に来ておられるわけですか。私はいえもういてないですよ。もうあのずっと京都です。あそうですね。はい。だから今日今回村ということですよね。ああのはい。東京にね。あの、タイアブリの方からね。あの、学生さんには。はい、学生にね。はい、いや、タイ、京都からですよ。はい。
京都からですあ。そうでしょう。はい。懐かしい。おゴルフ、懐かしいですね、タイレのね。<笑>ソンマイさんああ今、通知学の金閣にも外国人が多いですね。Yeah, there are many foreign tourists now visiting to Golden Pavilion, 金閣 temple. There are very many.、Uh, mostly from、uh, USA or Europe. But soon the Chinese group tour. Will increase. So, Abbas, I think I'm not a ticket on your shutter. I know. I will carry my star. I got over time. I will do the chanto. Hi, quit the mass. Hi, since I know you are the other. I must. Hi, each in Kangi Kai Kani Kai could I only make a start of the mass. Ah, I know. あたあ新しい人もまだわからないことが多いなので、はいはい、先生から。ソンマイさんはい。ソンマイさんはいはいはい。書いてて。この前,この前の、ね、あなた方が、あの、うちの方へ来ていただきましたですね。はい、そうです。はい。あれもちょっと、はい、あの紹介するから。ああ、はい。お願いします。はい、ありがとうございます。はい。はい。はい。はいはいはい、よろしくお願いします。その後、スギットさんとは連絡が取れましたかおい、トモンマンさん。おスギットさん。はい。はい、先生、な,なんですかいやいや、ソンマイさんね。はい。ナスダのスプロフェッサースキット。チューキット。チューキット。キットはい。ビッグボス。はい。あの、チョナスダのチョジョさんです。はい。はい。今日はこの前のね、あのプレゼンテーション。はい。非常,非常にはしょりましたのでね、はいはいはい、あれをベースにお話しします。はいはい。ありがとうございます。はい。<笑>この前あんまり時間なかったからね、15分ぐらいで終わったから。は<笑>い<笑><笑>。<笑>まあでもよかったです。みんなとっても嬉しかったです。はい。ありがとうございました。Okay, ソラポンさん、I think、uh, we, we, we can start. Okay, ครับเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวขออนุญาตไปเป็นวันนี้นะครับพอดีมีนักศึกษามาด้วยนะครับเพื่อขออนุญาตเป็นภาษาไทยก่อนเบื้องต้นนะครับอ๋อเซนเซชั่วตัวอาจจะมีนี่อนุชั่วตัวไทยก็อันเซนเซนก็ตัวโตมาเกี่ยวนก็ตัวちょっと説明しますが、はい、あの学生さんが新しいことが多いなので。はい。สวัสดีครับ。ผู้เข้าร่วมฟังทุกท่านครับก็จะมีทั้งอาจารย์เจ้าหน้าที่นักศึกษานะครับก็วันนี้ก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งวันนะครับที่ได้รับความกรุณาจากท่านโปรเฟสเซอร์คิโยชิโยชิกาวะนะครับซึ่งเป็นอดีตนะครับอดีตโปรเฟสเซอร์เป็นพอพลังงานขั้นสูงนะครับเน้นเน้นย้ำนะครับผมชื่อย่อคือ Institute of Advanced Energy นะครับซึ่งแต่เป็นสาไทยคือขอ,ขอเป็นผู้อำนวยการละกันเป็นผู้อำนวยการสถาบันวิจัย
พลังงานขั้นสูงที่มหาลัยเกียวโตยูนิเวอร์ซิตี้นะครับหลังจากนั้นท่านก็ได้เป็นรองอธิการบดีนะครับด้านงานวิจัยโดยเฉพาะเลยนะครับที่มหาลัยเกียวโตซึ่งเป็นมหาลัยอันดับหนึ่งอันดับสองของประเทศญี่ปุ่นนะครับแต่ถ้าเป็นทางด้านวิศวกรรมนี่น่าจะเป็นอันดับหนึ่งนะครับในระหว่างที่ท่านดำรงตำแหน่งเป็นรองอธิการบดีด้านงานวิจัยที่มหาลัยเกียวโตนะครับท่านพุ่งเป้าไปที่เพื่อให้เกิดรางวัลโนเบลไพรส์นะครับที่มหาลัยเกียวโตนะครับเดี๋ยวคงรีสไลด์นะครับผมผมขอความกรุณาจากท่านให้แนะนํามหาลัยเกียวโตด้วยนะครับเผื่อนักศึกษาท่านไหนนะครับจะได้ไปศึกษาต่อด้วยนะครับเผื่อเผื่อได้มีโอกาสเปิดโอกาสให้นักศึกษาได้ไปศึกษาต่อด้วยนะครับซึ่งมหาลัยเกียวโตกับราชมงคลเรามีความสัมพันธ์อันดีแล้วก็ยาวนานมากกว่า20ปีนะครับโดยที่เรามีจัดคอนเฟลเลนร่วมกันนะครับแล้ววันนี้ก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งวันนะครับที่ได้ความกรุณาจากท่านโปรเฟสเซอร์คิวคิวชิโยชิเพราะว่าได้มาอธิบายเรื่องเกี่ยวข้องกับนาโนบับเบิลนะครับซึ่งผมคิดว่าจากประสบการณ์ที่เราเคยทํามานะครับแม้กระทั่งเราเริ่มจากศูนย์ก็ตามนะครับก็เป็นอีกหนึ่งแอปพลิเคชันหรือว่าหนึ่งงานวิจัยหรือว่าเป็นหนึ่งใครจะเอาเป็นตัวพระเอกก็ได้ครับแต่สําหรับที่ที่เราใช้กันอยู่จะเป็นตัวซัพพอร์ตนะครับเป็นตัวถ้าลองคอยคอยเสริมพระเอกพระเอกที่เป็นเอกกระลักษณ์และอัตลักษณ์ของงานวิจัยของแต่ละท่านอยู่แล้วนะครับตัวนาโนบับเบิลสามารถนําไปช่วยและนําไปช่วยซัพพอร์ตได้ดีมากๆเลยนะครับอันนี้ผมยืนยันนะครับจากเสียงของผู้ที่มาเริ่มจากศูนย์กับงานวิจัยทางด้านนาโนบับเบิลครับให้ใช้เป็นตัวเสริมนะครับเสริมเสริมกับงานวิจัยของท่านเองนะครับก็วันนี้ขอบคุณท่านอธิการบดีครับได้รับเกียรติจากท่านอธิการบดีด้วยครับแล้วลงลงมาทั้งถึงท่านรองอธิการบดีแล้วก็หลายๆท่านด้วยนะครับที่มาร่วมสัมมนาในครั้งนี้ครับท่านอธิการบดีมีขออนุญาตกล่าวกล่าวเปิดได้ไหมครับขอให้ท่านอธิการบดีช่วยกล่าวเปิดด้วยครับขอบคุณท่านครับฮัลโหลครับท่านอธิการบดีไปไหนแล้วโอเคถ้าถ้าถ้าไม่เปิดก็งั้นเอาเลยค่ะโอเคนะครับเอ่อเซนเซ่โมโมอิโรโรเซซิเมชิมาสตันโมเดมาเซนเซ่ไอมาฮัพเปียร์สเตโอเนงชิมาสไอไอไอกาเมนคิวยูกาเมนคิวยูอะอุชิโรอาสุไอชิงกับอุชิเดสเนไอใช่ใช่ใช่ So today we have uh, Professor Hiroshi Yoshikawa. He will present you about the um, five bubble, uh, sometimes called micro nano and nano bubble technology, and also he will mention about Kyoto University and also nano bubble. And so the application in Thailand, also application in Japan, and the future of the, the nano bubble. So please, Professor Hiroshi Yoshikawa. Our boss, <laughs> big boss. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sensei Dozo. Oh, sorry, grab just a moment. Hey, so the group, uh, from Chu Kiyoshi Yoshikawa, uh, even, uh, it's my great pleasure to deliver uh, my lecture on fine bubble technologies through online lecture. Uh, my name is Kiyoshi Yoshikawa, and Ajahn Solapong introduced already a professor emeritus and a counselor of RMUTT. Uh, curriculum beta is uh, uh, something like that. Uh, I graduated from uh, nuclear engineering of Kyoto University and uh, got the PhD. And then uh, while I started the work as working for Kyoto University, I had an op opportunity to study at the Lawrence Livermore and Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory, University of California. And after the I retired,
for research at Kyoto University. And after six years, uh, I joined uh, the Rajamangala University of Technology, Lana, in Chennai for research on the micro nanobubble technologies. Uh, upon request by Sonmai, Ajahn Sonmai and others, I will briefly introduce uh, the Kyoto University. Uh, as of Or medicine. Uh, when I served as a vice president, uh, Professor Yamanaka got Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. And th this is the press conference. I'm here. It's a great honor. And while I was uh, 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 36, 1978, Lawrence Livermore, I was working on the nuclear fusion engineering. And this is the uh, Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory in Berkeley. And then after I returned, uh, we started a beam direct energy conversion in Uji campus, Kyoto University, and got the direct energy conversion efficiency, 87%. And uh, after that, we developed uh, the inertia electrostatic fusion device. This is a fusion, takes place DD. And you see, Ajahn Sorapon was very young, 205, right? And the, he joined. Uh, to get, in order to get a PhD at the Kyoto University, and he often joined us. This is the nuclear fusion DD device. Very simple, but very <laughs> effective. So this is uh, my background. So nothing to do with uh, micro nanobubble or fine bubble technologies. The relationship started in 201 at Tanyaburi. The other time, the Rajamangala Institute of Technology, having 38 campuses and 250,000 students in Thailand. And Ajahn Namut, this is me, pretty young. <clears throat> and then after two years later, I was given the honorary degree from Her Royal Highness Selinton here. And here, Ajahn, uh, President Somai and Ajahn Sorapo. It was very interesting. And 2015, when Her Royal Highness Selinton visited Kyoto University, uh, I talked with her for 15 minutes. And uh, next year, I met her, uh, Royal Highness, again in, in the Royal Farm north of Chennai. Uh, this is my great motivation uh, to improve the Thai society. Uh, this uh, is the kids of Chumton province. They are Thai girls, three years. And in Japan, we think the kids are national treasure, similar to Thailand. And the seventh century and eighth, a famous poet, Okura Yamanoe said, what use to me, the silver, gold, and jewelry? No treasure can surpass children. 
So children is the most, most uh, excellent uh, treasure to Japan. So uh, I think the uh, you and uh, we are responsible to leave good future to them. That is uh, my great uh, in, uh, motivation. Why I tried to start the micro nanobot technologies. So it is universal knowledge that the new innovative technologies could or can resolve critical problems in the countries. And Thailand, you have the GDP per capita and improve daily life through improvement of productivity, food safety, and the environment by using the fine bubbles. When I the started, I found this is a, a ten years uh, before uh, GDP per capita and fraction. This is the GDP per capita U.S. dollars, and uh, this is the uh, GDP a fraction of agriculture, and the GDP per capita in U.S. dollars in Thailand rapidly increasing. However, the farmer's income proportional to this GDP fraction of agriculture decreased very low. So I had the farmer's income is generally very low compared with the average uh, uh, GDP per capita now. That tend to induce the social instability. Also, rice productivity, uh, uh, tons per hectare. This is China, because they are using a lot of pesticides. And second, in Indonesia, and this is Vietnam is rapidly increasing, and this is uh, India, and the Thai is still very low, because they couldn't introduce advanced technologies to increase productivity of rice in Thailand at that time. Uh, just uh, two months ago, June 22, the Thai delegation visited uh, to our Institute of Advanced Energy. Here, uh, President uh, Sommai and the NASDA director, Professor Sukit, and other uh, uh, representatives. And uh, they are coming to visit uh, nuclear fusion facilities and also wanted to hear about the uh, fine bubble technologies. Uh, this is the participants list. Unfortunately, Professor Anik, the Minister of the Ministry of Higher Education, uh, could not come. But the, the Professor Sukit, uh, Director of NASA, visited and uh, some might as well. So I was asked, so I uh, presented and introduced what is uh, fine bubble technology and so on, and also demonstrated what the micro nanobiology is. So today's uh, slides are based on that uh, time slides in more in detail. At this time, they don't have much time, so I was forced to present just 15 minutes. Now, the, as you know, the pesticide you are using a lot of pesticide, but 60% of pesticide cannot be removed from vegetables and fruits by washing, according to this. And also in the ocean, you have the lot of microplastics and that's contaminated the, the water and the fish as well. And some of the data I will tell you, 
some of the uh, researchers in Sirapakon are trying to use microplastics by stick to many micro uh, nanobubbles and uh, floating. Uh, there are a lot of, say, the vast applications of micro nanobubbles. Now, uh, they are using the fine bubbles instead of micro nanobubbles. And what is uh, ultra fine bubble is? I just uh, take a look of this. So like milk, and uh, I will show you the, it will take six minutes, but I will sh tell you, show you nanobubble water from Japan. This tells the what a nanobubble is in, in English. Nanobubble water from Japan. Today we will be exploring one of the leading technologies of Japan. In particular, we have a technology called nanobubble water. What you are seeing on the monitor right now are raw oysters. This nanobubble water is being used to treat these oysters. You may have seen at the beginning of this video where both saltwater fish and freshwater fish are able to live together in this nanobubble water. Also, today it has been reported that this wonder water has a great potential for the medical field. Can nanobubbles cure cancer? Nanobubbles have many potential applications in many different fields. This technology can put oxygen or ozone gas into water as tiny nano-sized bubbles. Today they are about to announce the new technology of nanobubbles and its potential. As you can see, many people from the media and other interested parties await the scientific findings of this new technology. They have reported today the results of the effectiveness of nanobubbles on cancer cells. Emeritus Professor Mano said when we used 1% oxygen nanobubble water on the cancer cells, we were able to reduce 70% of the cancer cells in our preliminary study. This is a great finding and we must look further into the potential of this amazing technology. This technology was actually introduced approximately three years ago at the Aichi Expo. There was an unusual fish tank that amazed so many visitors. Snapper and carp were swimming together in the same body of water, which is impossible in the wild. The answer to this secret is the oxygen nanobubbles. The inventor that is behind this technology is Mr. Kaneo Chiba, who is the head researcher of Rail Research Company Limited in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. Mr. Chiba is the pioneer of this technology that made the application possible. This is the tank that was displayed at the Aichi Expo. As of today, in the nanobubble water, all types of fish have lived together for nearly three years and counting without any problem. They are very healthy and even grow faster than if they were in their natural environment. Mr. Chiba's background was to develop the technology to clean wastewater from manufacturers and sewers. He wanted to use the sterilization power of ozone by making it into tiny bubbles. After making the ozone nanobubbles and cleaning the water, he discovered a very interesting phenomenon. He explains that at the end of the sewage line after the treatment of the water, plants started to grow wildly. Also, after treating the well water to use for fish and clam farming, they became very healthy. Mr. Chiba says that the smaller the bubbles, the harder to destroy, and the longer it will stay in the water. This pink colored water is the ozone nanobubble water. This is actually well water, and this is the machine that creates the nanobubbles. This water is actually drinkable. The reporter says that it's salty like seawater, but refreshing and unusual. 
Mr. Chiba says this water is being used to treat periodontal disease and oral ulcers, and it's also very effective for sterilization. Normal bubbles with a diameter of 1 20th of a millimeter are reduced to super tiny sized bubbles by applying high pressure and high temperature. How small are nano bubbles? If you line up 10,000 nano bubbles, it will still be shorter than 1 millimeter. Nano is equal to the fraction 1 over 1 billion. This size cannot be detected even with a microscope. Based on what we know in physics, such a small bubble cannot remain in water. Though it's supposed to disappear, they still remain in the water. We found that there are small ions around the nanobubbles, which makes it stable inside the water, says Dr. Masayoshi Takahashi, chief researcher of the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology of Japan. This is an oyster processing plant in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. This plant was the first to implement the use of ozone nanobubbles for processing three years ago. Prior to implementation of this new technology, the oysters were sterilized with chlorine and rinsed with seawater. But now they use ozone nanobubble water for packaging. The owner of this company explains, This nanobubble water makes an excellent treatment and yet retains the original taste. And we are really happy since we have reduced the number of customer complaints by 80%. This is another food plant that uses the nanobubble technology. This company is Shiraken Kamaboko, also in Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. They use oxygen nanobubbles inside the surimi. Just look at the elasticity. After giving it a taste, the reporter confirms the delicious flavor. Nanobubbles have so many different applications and the study in each area is being done, one of them being the medical field. Emeritus Professor Yoshihiro Mano from Tokyo Medical and Dental University used cancer cells of cervix uteri to compare the regular culture solution and solution with nanobubbles and cultivated it for 24 hours. He explains, with the regular solution, there was no change within 24 hours, but with the nanobubble solution, approximately 70% of the cancer cells were destroyed. The regular culture solution on the left and the 1% nanobubble water on the right, approximately 850,000 cancer cells were reduced to 820,000 on the left and to 250,000 on the right with the nanobubbles. A 70% reduction within 24 hours is significant. What I think is that cancer cells are abnormal cells and this creates abnormal activities. However, nanobubbles have the ability to make abnormal into normal. Therefore, the reduction in cancer cells was possible. This study has only just begun. Even though we are at the early stages of this study, the potential of this technology is enormous. We hope that this technology will contribute to the eradication of cancer someday. Okay, uh, so uh, you could uh, uh, Catch the about what uh, bubbles, nano bubbles are. Uh, uh, when nano bubble exist, uh, this is just a normal tap water, and this is the uh, water with nano bubbles. And uh, when uh, no the irradiation of laser, just a transparent. But when you irradiate, then this nanobubble scatter the laser and you could easily see. And uh, uh, five years ago at Rajamon uh, Tanjabri, we made the 10 advanced micro nanobubble generators. And still you have And then uh, I uh, present made a presentation about what uh, micro nanobubbles are, and they are very happy with this. And also at uh, Sirapakon, uh, 
uh, many uh, GUI and uh, the I uh, delivered also the presentations, and uh, they have later uh, used uh, the micro null bubbles to the microplastics, and uh, many uh, micro null bubbles stick and give uh, flotation. Then uh, you could remove the micro null bubble, my uh, microplastics. Okay, the then the when you might make a micro uh, nano bubbles, these white one are rather big uh, micro bubbles. More, more, more. And then more. When stop, more. the okay, a bigger one float very quickly. And then uh, transparent micro bubble is floating up, and like this. And uh, a levitation speed of ultra fine bubble is proportional to diameter square. Therefore, the bigger uh, bubble, the uh, faster a levitation. So the remaining uh, will be uh, nano or ultra fine bubbles. This is very, very important one, huh? Stokes law. And, uh, but it uh, can last for a long time. Uh, even uh, uh, two weeks later, still the number density remain, something like this. So sometimes the um, several months, it can remain in the water. And uh, also the, due to the surface tension, the pressure inside is very large. For example, for uh, 10 micro, uh, inner pressure is always higher than the uh, environmental pressure, delta P. And the delta P, if diameter is one, 10 micrometer, 0 0.3 atmosphere, However, if uh, 0 0.1, 100 nanometer, the pressure difference is 30, 30. So usually in the water, this is one atmosphere, and then this is 31 atmosphere. So gradient P is very, very large. And the young Laplace equation, this is R, need two sigma over R. And uh, the why the ultra fine bubble can uh, remain in the water for such a long time is due to the Brownian motion. と言いまして非常に小さな微粒子に特有の動きです。熱運動する分子同士が不規則に衝突することによって起きています。このブラウン運動の動きとバブルに働いている浮力と比べてみますとブラウン運動の方が圧倒的に速い動きをするのでほとんど浮上することなくその場をブルブルと震えてとどまる。So the, the buoyancy is much less than the Brownian motion. Brownian motion is water、uh, molecule hit to this、uh, bubbles. Then Uh, something like this. And、uh, in Chiang Mai, we、uh, purchased this one, and this shows the diameter of the bubbles, and this shows 100 nano, and the density per cc, 5 times 10 to 9 particle bubbles per cc. So by this、uh, machine, You can easily tell the what's the ultra fine bubble are. And、uh, when you make the bubbles, some、uh, white one, something like this, but when you leave, then this disappear and then move to show the very uh, uh, tiny 100 nano, something like this. And here, 
the peak is uh, slightly decreasing according to the time. And uh, some uh, uh, researchers uh, point out that hydrophonic material need uh, to be necessary uh, need uh, so that the bubble can fall and uh, remain long. And actually, TEM image shows bubble and these uh, debris. And also, it is very important when you use ozone for sterilization, bubbling, and then uh, electron spin resonance, uh, you cannot uh, see the clear uh, radicals. But when you use ozone gas O3 through the micro nanobubbles, then uh, you can see the by the electron spin resonance very clear hydroxyl radicals. This is very, very strong oxidation. So by this uh, method, not, uh, not uh, effective for sterilization, but by using the micro nanobubble generators, uh, this can uh, provide very strong sterilization effect through the production of hydroxyl radicals. Uh, for example, the bubbling, then after one point milligram per liter, stop one hour later, then the ozone uh, density, dissolved density, decrease 0 0.1 milligram per liter. However, when you use micro uh, bubble ozone, nano bubble, 1.5 milligram, then even 100 days, three months later, still in this water, the dissolved ozone density is as high as 1.0 milligram per liter. So this is very, very effective. Uh, you can easily understand. And at the same time, uh, sonar luminescence. Uh, when uh, you drop this uh, micro bubble in the acoustic uh, fields, then the pressure uh, rise and uh, lower, then this expand and shrink. And then when shrink, it emit light. This uh, photo was taken at the UCLA Potama Research Group. And uh, so they measured the spectrum. Spectrum is like this. And uh, this is very, very similar to the uh, black body uh, radiation at uh, 6,000 Kelvin. This means uh, wavelength is uh, 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 inversely proportional to energy. So the 5.2 electron volt photon that are produced, that is just enough to produce OH radicals. So, and uh, this is the oxidation potential uh, calling, calling in dioxide and the hydrogen power oxide ozone, atomic oxygen and the hydroxyl radical is the highest oxidation potential. So uh, by using this one, you can oxidize or sterilize the uh, bacteria and uh, even the dissolve, uh, uh, disassemble the pesticide as well. Uh, this is the mechanism of OH radical production after cavitation. And ozone and ozone water, micro nanobubble water, uh, effects of sterilization and the treatment and the sterilization. 
but uh, no persistence because ozone three uh, changes to oxygen. So uh, pretty safe. Uh, this is a recent the new machine, laser. Uh, uh, Crypto fluoroside, UV light, uh, you can uh, produce ozone pretty effectively. Uh, there are a lot of eczema UV lamps now available from Japanese company Ushio. So, uh, this is the top of vegetable and fruits remaining the pesticide residues. Uh, this is very, very anti very dangerous because uh, pesticides are the strong inducer to cancer. And uh, we checked the fishes uh, nearby the Chiang Mai fish market by checking the horm aldehyde, shrimps and squid. And we found 0 0.51 uh, horm aldehyde in these. So, uh, I will tell you later. And when I started uh, working on the this uh, micro nano bubble from nuclear fusion engineering, that uh, eight years ago, and my uh, classmate uh, is an expert, and. Uh, some uh, micro nanobubble generator company president uh, kindly demonstrated for us. And then uh, after that, we started making the first version in January 18. My colleague, uh, Ajahn Vishnu, this is a version one. And just take a look of. มอทอรอล้านนาคิดคนนวัตกรรมเครื่องถนอมอาหารสามารถลดออกซิเจนในน้ำเพื่อยืดอายุอาหารทะเลอาหารแช่แข็งได้สำเร็จในงานวันคล้ายวันสถาปนามหาวิทยาลัยเทคโนโลยีราชมงคลล้านนาหรือมอทอรอล้านนามีการเปิดตัวเครื่องไมโครนาโนบับเบิลหรือเครื่องกำเนิดฟองขนาดจิว๋วเพื่อลดออกซิเจนในน้ำที่จะใช้ยืดอายุให้กับอาหารแช่แข็งรวมถึงน้ำแข็งเพื่อให้มีอายุการใช้งานที่ยาวนานขึ้นลดการแช่สารฟอร์มาลีนที่เป็นอันตรายต่อร่างกายซึ่งเป็นผลงานวิจัยของนายวิศนุทองเล็กอาจารย์ประจําคณะวิศวกรรมศาสตร์สำหรับเครื่องไมโครนาโนบับเบิลมีต้นแบบเป็นของประเทศญี่ปุ่นซึ่งได้นํามาใช้ในการถนอมอาหารโดยทางญี่ปุ่นสามารถลดค่าออกซิเจนในการเติมไนโตรเจนเข้าไปสามารถลดให้เหลือเพียง 1.2 มิลลิกรัมต่อลิตรทําให้ยืดอายุของอาหารทะเลได้ด้านนายวิษณุบอกว่าจากการวิจัยพบว่าสามารถใช้วัสดุใกล้ตัวได้เช่นท่อ PVC ในโตรเจนมีจําหน่ายทั่วไปการวิจัยในครั้งนี้ประสบผลสําเร็จคือลดต้นทุนจากการนําเข้าวัสดุจากต่างประเทศได้จํานวนมากซึ่งต้นทุนที่ทําขึ้นมามีเพียง 30,000 บาทและยังถือเป็นครั้งแรกที่สามารถลดค่าออกซิเจนจนเหลือเพียงแค่ 0.2 มิลลิกรัมต่อลิตรหลังจากนั้นจะพัฒนาต่อยอดต่อไป So the uh, 2016, Ajahn Namut uh, prepared the pretty nice uh, laboratory for me, for us, and uh, we made the first version, second version, version three, and version five. And uh, this is the... Uh, 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 อ๋อนี่ไงนี่ไงนี่แต่ของเราเป็นไมโครเยอะนะเนี่ยเนี่ยเนี่ยมีเลเซอร์อ่ะอ่า we brought this machine to start up Thailand uh, 2016 uh, Prime Minister uh, just visited us, and I am here. And we decided to make uh, by ourselves for 
much uh, uh, less expensive price. And actually, we purchased the parts and brought uh, back the uh, uh, Sorapon and his colleagues brought back from Japan the older parts. And we made uh, this one for total price was just one machine cost in Japan. So we made almost uh, one tenth of the uh, cost for each uh, micro nanomal generators. Uh, although the I was very, very tired at that time, and uh, people were, uh, were very much interested in this one. And so I, I have shown they are very, very happy. Uh, after that, the, that was a one liter per minute, but now the 50 liter or 100 liter per minute or so. So the Nanyamangara uh, Dana, uh, Bishun and the Chiti are using this machine for various fields. Uh, in Japan, when the uh, lightning uh, uh, takes place, uh, farmers are very, very happy because uh, in the autumn, uh, always they could uh, expect a good harvest of the rice. And uh, because the lightning is the phenomena of uh, plasma production and 80% uh, of uh, air uh, nitrogen are uh, fixed uh, to nutrient and 20% oxygen uh, converted to hydroxy radicals that kill the bacteria. And uh, uh, by this uh, experience, the Iwate University made the artificial lightning in here. And then the air, inside the air, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, nutrient and so on. And we first made this one. Uh, these are the uh, discharges. And here, are the air uh, fixed to nutrient, nitrogen, nutrient, and so on. And uh, if uh, this is the high voltage uh, discharge uh, in normal water, the discharge is very rare. But when uh, we ch uh, change this water to micro bubble water, then Uh, much more frequent. But uh, after uh, we leave uh, this water for 10 minutes, then uh, this is transparent, but a lot of uh, ultra fine bubble, nano bubble water. So this water, uh, actually, uh, we checked. The only 15 minutes of this charge, ozone 21 milligram per liter, and uh, nitrate uh, uh, higher than 90. Can you hear me? Karato san, can you hear me? Okay, sensei, sak, sak, saki no tokoro ga kikoe na katan desu kere no. Ma, ni, ma, ipun kurai kana, saki no. Ma, ima se simu shite itada keba, oto wakara, wakari mas kere. Sensei, do do.
Uh. Okay. Can you hear me? Hi, 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 Dozo, Oh, uh, anyway, the the transmission line seems to be unstable, so I will skip. Okay. Uh, this is the germination efficiency. No more water for Chinese kale. Uh, high voltage, and this is much better. And germination efficiency is much better. So uh, people are now using this one. And also uh, shiitake. Uh, by lightning, uh, this haifa cut, then there are many uh, shiitake growing. So we, uh, you have to try to make the artificial lighting equipment. Like this. You can see. Okay. And then by this, uh, they made pretty good uh, results by using this one. And also the with uh, micro nanowire water. Uh, let me go to the very key point of uh, form aldehyde. And uh, this is illegal. Uh, but uh, when we use the oxygen free water, then uh, we put uh, oxygen free water uh, to these ones. Then this is no more water. This is uh, 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 oxygen free water by using nitrogen micro nanobubbles. Therapy. And uh, this one, this one is very, very good after uh, three days. But uh, this is very small. So in Japan, the when we uh, we visited a uh, fish market uh, in uh, five years ago. Oh, sorry, uh, six years ago. I found no formal addition to uh, domestic fishes. And actually, the we checked by using the oxygen free water. This uh, uh, shrimp is uh, after eight days still. No more, no smell, but this uh, is very, very uh, smells. And in Japan, now the, we are using the oxygen free water for fish preservations. Okay. 北九州市のナイトロジェン、マイクロナノバブルウォーター。水揚げした魚をこのバブルが入った氷水につけるだけで驚くほどの効果が得られるといいます。どのくらいつけるんですか。10分。10分。1回どれほどの変化が出る。水揚げして4日目のサバで比較しました。負けれる。通常のサバは少し押しただけで水が崩れてしまいます。あと 4 ブロトリーズ見つけたサバは弾力が残り身が崩れません。本当だ。入れて観察したグラフです。24時間後には金の数が 1000分の 1 
were killed as well. しかし、窒素自体には Therefore, the fish can be preserved very long.、Uh, actually, the normal water contains 7.3 mg in this case. But、uh, now, the, by using the nitrogen micro nanobubble, by making use of the h e n r y law, Uh, oxygen free water, 0.2 mg per liter. So, under this order, the aerobic bacteria are either killed or inactivated. Therefore, the fish can preserve long. And the oxygen rich water, are they are、uh, cultivating the dragon, blowfish, and others. For example, dragonfish, very expensive one,、huh? 24 months to 14 months for market. Very quick. So, the, in Thailand, c h u n p o n they are、uh, producing the、uh, shrimp for Japanese sushi. So far, they used、uh, chlorine water and they、uh, sterilized three times until packing. And、uh, actually,、uh, there is no bacteria at all, but、uh, there is no taste at all. So they introduced ozone fine bubble water instead, then more higher sterilization and shorter processing and more delicious.、Uh, this is in Chumpong, Thailand. And、uh, in Chiang Mai,、uh, coconut milk, we tested、uh, the ozone micro nanobubble water. And、uh, here, the coconuts and crusher are、uh, sterilized by ozone micro nanobubble water and crusher as well. And uh, he uh, squeezed and then left. And after, after two weeks later, he found the coconut milk with 0% additional ozone water, very good. And even the 30% ozone water. Are good and the second c o c o n u t milk water with 100% of the water are good. So, no deterioration of、uh, coconut milk quality, as fresh as it is made and new. So, the,、uh, you can、uh, make use of this technology very much. Without、uh, the ozone micro nanobubbles,、uh, the coconut milk s t a r t degrading in 50 minutes. So, they need to add chemical. For preservations. And for pack banana, this crown part, they use the ozone、uh, micro nanobubbles and then uh, no uh, bacteria at all, and so on. So the, <coughs>、uh, this is the、uh, banana farm in Sato re recently. And also on 20 gram per hour and 400 liter per minute, two pumps. And、uh, <clears throat> 20 nozzles here. And then by making use, then they use and、uh, sterilize the bacteria as well as uh, uh, clean up the feeds in this big pot. And they are very successful right now. So,、uh, advantage of convention now methods uh, is uh, cleaning by air, ultra fine bubble water. The treatment time is reduced to one third, no contamination to the environment by chemicals. In Japan, now the freeway, the service for cleaning the toilet. They are now using the air micro n a n o b u b b l e が入った水を吹きかけ、ブラシでこすることで、バブルが弾けて、汚れが落ちるといいます。One third without any chemicals. 洗剤が不要で、環境に優しい。Uh, this is 100% now popular in Japan. So, I dare say,、uh, finally, the most important is just try to make Uh, bubbles, either the oxygen or ozone or 
オキシジンフリーオキシジンリッチマイクロナノバブルス to anything just try and then、uh, you could、uh, get big profit and you could improve the society very much particularly in ASEAN countries in terms of the food safety So,、uh, just uh, this is a brief、uh, introduction. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay. Sora p o n z a Sora p o n z a はい、終わりました。はい、そして。So now, now it's time to have the question for this presentation. Any question from the audience on the floor? Just one hour. Thank you very much, Sensei. So, what is the next、um, or the future work of、uh, Nano Bubble? <laughs>、uh, in, that depends on the country's、uh, requirements. And, but I dare say, in Thailand or ASEAN countries, agriculture and aquaculture. Are very, very important in, produce, in improving the productivity and、uh, particularly food safety issues. And the last time the, when we held the Zoom lecture from Indonesia, he said、uh, formalin or formaldehyde is also illegal. In, in, however, they actually are high still. Uh, 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 some day. Okay, thank you, William Asense. So, maybe the, the, your internet is not good. For, so, any question for audience? Students, I would like to hear the question from students. Chen, come, Chen, come, time for next time. Chen, come, come, time for next time. Try to speak in English to improve your level. <laughs> Try, or you can speak in Japanese. Next up, I'm going to go to the next one. Good, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. If they wish to have full slice, Uh, last time I sent you already. So I, I think this version is already updated.、Uh, so I oh, I see. I see. Yes. I see. The last、okay. time it's not updated. Thank you very much for your really nice、uh, PowerPoint and、uh, yeah, very yeah, nice yes, presentation. Yes. yes.、Mm -hmm. I, 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 will, I will post on the Faculty of Engineering. So let's add this. Let's add this. Let's add this. Let's add this. ในระหว่างรอนักศึกษาตัดสินใจคำถามครับเรียนเชิญคำถามจากคณาจารย์หรือจากผู้สนใจได้เลยนะครับผมอ
seconds, uh, just uh, send me by email. And uh, Which, which were not not uh, tried by these technologies. So try, yeah, yes, yes. Yes, try, try to ask for professor. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> อาจารย์โดนง่ายๆเลยเออคืออย่างนี้ที่ผมเอ้ยขออนุญาตอาจารย์สมพงษ์ช่วยแปลหน่อยนะพอดีว่าครับลุยเลยอาจารย์เพื่อภาษาอังกฤษเลยครับระดับอาจารย์แล้วลุยเลยครับเพราะว่าเดี๋ยวก่อนอาจารย์สมพงษ์ช่วยแปลหน่อยครับเออพอดีผมจะเอาไปดูว่านาโนบอปเปิลเนี่ยมันจะช่วยให้เฮมที่เราเอามาทําเส้นใยสําหรับเป็นเรียนฟอสเมนต์ในคอมโพสิตเนี่ยมันจะดีขึ้นไหมประมาณเนี้ยครับอาจารย์สรพงศ์แปลให้หน่อยครับสรพงศ์สาฮัลโหลอ่ะเอ่อเอ่อ let me ask professor in English uh, may may I try in English uh, I'm I'm interested in 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 use the nano bubble to grow the hemp plant And after that, we will use the fiber from the hemp plant to check the strength for composite. Ah, uh, this is is uh. Mm, sorry, the huh? the uh, I'm not so familiar. Sorry, <laughs> Paul. Press uh, anti. Aren't I? The, yes. Could you repeat once again? The, uh, uh, may, could you may, repeat? Uh, may I yes. ask you again? Yes. Uh, repeat, please. Uh, I I think uh, maybe I use the nano bubble technology to uh hem plantation. What is hem plantation? Hem 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 uh like a cannabis. Cannabis, the, the, the brother, the younger brother of cannabis. <laughs> nani, nani? Him is a uh, one high of uh, cannabis. Yes, he, he would like In to Thailand use. In Thailand, we call uh, kancha. It's a nani, so that. Hmm. Uh, now in Thailand, uh, they interesting uh, to bring the hemp fiber to make a uh, reinforcement phase in composite materials. Ah, uh, sorry. The uh, I'm not so familiar sensei, with uh, Nani. Sensei, maybe he Hi. would like to use the nano bubble for the plant, the plant like a like a um uh, uh, sunflower plant or 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 any plant to growing up. Ah ha 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 ha. But uh, uh, this Chitty. guy, Chitty. this guy, Chitty, okay. Chitty, yeah, yes, I could have to the professor. Uh, Chitty, can uh, can you reply? Oh yeah, yeah, yes, I I I can apply in in the the microbial nano bubble in uh cannabis plant. Yes, uh, no, no, we uh, yeah. modify is a microbial no microbial nano bubble in mutant solution. Oh. There's a control about uh, 10 minutes per, per day. Uh, can yeah. induce pen code uh, in 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 cannabis pen. And, and I'm not sure that that's the uh, professor can answer is uh, use micro nano bubble for uh, fiber material pen or not or. ขออนุญาตครับอาจารย์อาจารย์จะถามว่าไมโครนาโนบอลใช้ในการเตรียมไฟเบอร์หรือว่าในการผมผมจะแยกออกมาตอนปลูกด้วยแล้วก็ตอนอแค่แยกไฟเบอร์มันในในความพิผมว่านาโนบอเบอร์มันน่าจะช่วยในการแยกไฟเบอร์ออกมาได้ครับแล้วก็ถ้าสมมุติว่าเราเปรียบเทียบกันว่าระหว่างแพน
ไอ้ต้นเฮมอ่ะที่ปลูกด้วยนาโนไฟเบอร์นาโนบับเบิลอ่ะมันจะตาแตกต่างความแข็งแรงของไฟเบอร์แตกต่างกับตัวที่ปลูกด้วยน้ําธรรมดาหรือเปล่าอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับโอเคเอ่อเดอะเดอะไฟเบอร์แอมโนชัวบัสอ่าไมโครนาโนบับเบิลอินอินอ่าแคนยูสอ่าอินไฮโดรปนิกซิสเต็มอ่าแคนนาบิสแพนแคนแคนอินดิวโกสแอนแอนแอนยูแอมแอมโนชัวฟอร์ฟอร์อ่าไฟเบอร์คุณลิตี้อินอินอินอินเฮมแอนแอนเดอะโปรเซส if you like in the process for for prepare a fiber I'm I'm not sure t I I think maybe อาจารย์จารย์โนทายครับก็ในโดยส่วนตัวนะครับจากประสบการณ์ที่เคยทำนาโนวอเวอร์มาก็ผมคิดว่าลองเลยครับลองเลยมันไม่ได้มีครับมันมันก็ถ้าสมมติถ้าเขาทำมาแล้วเราเราก็ไม่ไม่ได้ลองตอนนี้ตอนนี้ตอนนี้ผมย้ายมาปลูกที่ชัยนาทแล้วครับครับลองเลยครับลองเลยครับลองเลยลองลองลองดูก็ได้ครับลองแบบเล็กๆก่อนก็ได้ครับอาจารย์จะได้ใช่ครับใช่ครับอาจารย์สมภพครับสวัสดีครับครับครับสวัสดีสวัสดีครับอาจารย์ที่ติครับขอบคุณครับคือตอบคำถามคือขอขออนุญาตแลกเปลี่ยนนิดนึงเอ้เวลาใช้ไมโครโนครับเวลาสเกลเล็กๆอ่ะมันจะค่อนข้างได้ผลดีครับนะครับแต่ถ้าเกิดเราทําสเกลใหญ่อ่ะครับมันจะมีปัญหาเรื่องของการคอนโทรลนะครับอุณหภูมิของน้ํานะครับหรือว่าเอ่อเพราะว่าถ้าเกิดอุณหภูมิน้ํามันสูงนะครับไอการสเตเบิลของของไมโครนาโนครับมันมันจะอยู่ได้ไม่นานนะครับประมาณเนี้ยครับแต่ถ้าเราทําสเกลเล็กนะครับทดลองเล็กๆจะไม่ค่อยมีปัญหานะครับอันนั้นผมเยี่ยมเลยครับอาจารย์เอ่อไอไอไอชอบแบบว่าเดี๋ยวไมโครนาโนบอกว่าควายอ่ะสักเซตโฟอินอินไฮโดรปนิกซิสเต็มไลอ่ะเวทเบิลแอนแอนเอ่อซัมเอ่อ uh, ฟุตอ่ะอินอินไฮโดรปนิกซิสเต็มเอ่อไม่ไม่เอ็กซ์เพรสเมนต์เอ่อเดี๋ยวสมอลสเกลเอ่อเวลีเวลีสักเซตโฟแต่ซัมทามเดี๋ยวลาเจอร์สเกลซัมทามเอ่อซัมทามเอ่อแฮสซัมพอบเบมเบาอิสเดอร์แคนนอตคอนโทรลเดอร์เอ่อวอเตอร์เทมเบอร์เจอร์แอนแอน And and uh, the environment if if you the the larger scale. Okay, it's uh, thank you. Okay, sensei, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for the professor Siti for his answering the question of the uh, doctor uh, professor Anotai. So the next question, please, from the student. I would like to hear the question from the student. Then, just ask. 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 How how to make a stable bubble uh, uh out of fiber bubble from a uh, micro nano bubble generator? How how to make a stable bubble from uh, the generator? Ah, uh, uh, when you mention this table, ah. Uh, Do you mean that uh, it yes. should uh, last long, or more than one uh, month or something like that? Yes. Uh, uh, when... yeah. As of the white one, uh, my uh, macro bubble, uh, uh, you cannot uh, resolve this one because of the Stokes law. The that. Uh, uh, Flotation speed is very fast and then disappear. Whereas uh, ultra fine bubble, nano bubble, less than one micrometer diameter, that can stay longer. And how to uh, just uh, produce uh, ultra fine bubbles? That's all. And depend on the environment. If the uh, The room is high and low, or uh, mechanically uh, shocking. No, that cannot uh, survive long. Just keep uh, in the uh, pretty say stable 
environment, then uh, the ultrafine bubble can stay pretty long. And some people reported six months, some people say the three weeks and something like that. So still it is not clear, but at least the ultrafine bubble can stay longer. If uh, you leave that one in pretty stable environment. Okay. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, thank you very much. Oh, my pen I grab. Sensei. The other question from the audience. Any question from the audience? So if not, so today, thank you very much for Sensei, for your really nice talk every time and uh, and very, very kind presentation for us, especially for the student and the new researcher in RMUT, T, not only the RMUT, T, but uh, around RMUT T network. So it, it means that it is uh, maybe this is a pilot project for us, for the new technology and uh, for to apply the nano bubble for us. Thank you very much, Sensei. Ah, thank you very it, much. It, any comments or or any question or in any comment for us to say? Uh, since the Ranyamonkon tangibly has 10 micro nanobubble generators, uh, pretty the compact. And uh, you could quickly try uh, uh, by asking the Ajahn uh, Solapon uh, or uh, Ted, others, and uh, you could easily uh, get the positive or negative results in a week or so. So the anyway, I dare say, su su, try, try, and challenge. Okay, thank you very much. Kopkon Club. Okay, thank you very much, Sensei. ขออนุญาตสรุปนะครับก็เหมือนกับที่เซนเซบอกทั้งเทคโนโลยีไม่ว่าจะเป็นนาโนบับเบิ้ลหรือหลายๆอย่างนะครับคิดว่าจะประส